Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Atla Alaska Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. And now I'll turn it over to our presenters. We are down in session D1 today, so our first presenter is Whitworth University. Well, hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tess Abbott, and I'm very excited to be with you today um, and tell you a little bit about Whitworth University. Obviously, we don't have much time, so I want to make sure you know who I am and that I'm um, your best resource for any questions you have that don't get answered today. So Whitworth is located in Spokane, Washington. It's the second largest city in Washington state and not too far from you in Alaska. I love Spokane. I'm from California originally, but I don't think I'm ever gonna leave Spokane. I just think it's such a wonderful place to live, especially as a college student and a young adult. It's a great size for professional opportunities and fun things to do, but it's not too overwhelming when you're living on your own for the first time. We also do have a four season climate, which I personally love. There are so many wonderful things to do outside um, all throughout the year. So Whitworth's mission is very important to us. We are a very mission centered institution. And I really like to highlight this anytime we're talking about Whitworth because I hope you'll see all these things coming through in your experience. So Whitworth's mission is to provide its diverse student body and education of the mind and heart equipping graduates to honor God, follow Christ, and serve humanity. We are a diverse student body in many ways, in racial and ethnic backgrounds, geographic locations. We have students from 35 states and 42 countries, diverse in our socioeconomic and religious backgrounds, and we hope that you will bring your differences, your diversity, your unique perspective to Whitworth. We provide an education of your mind and your heart. You're more than just a student to us. And I'll talk um, just briefly about the Christian elements of Whitworth in a moment. We have about 2,300 undergraduate students. That's pretty small, um, but not the smallest school you'll ever see. And we like being small. Um, we wanna stay small. We have small class sizes, which really translate into student success. 97% um, of our students were able to graduate in four years or less, which is so, so important when it comes to saving money on tuition for any institution that you're looking at. We have over 100 majors and programs, which is a lot for a school our size. And I wanna pull out just a couple of our biggest programs and some of our new programs for you. We have biology, business, computer science, education, health science, music, nursing, psychology. Two of our newest majors are criminal justice and environmental science. All of these are really strong programs. All of our classes are taught by faculty, no TAs or grad assistants. So you're really getting a quality in-person education in a small classroom. Outside of the classroom, there is a lot going on. Talk to any Whitworth student and likely the first thing they'll say about how they're doing is that they're busy. Um, our students have a lot of passions and interests that they bring to us on campus and also that they discover on campus. We do require first and second year students to live on campus in one of our 10 residence halls. They are fun, they are quirky, and they are definitely the place where you will meet some of your best friends. We have over 40 student clubs, everything from gaming club to black student union to the pokemon club to outdoor rec um, we offer tons of intramurals like basketball and volleyball the classics but then also bubble soccer which is exactly as it sounds and outdoor rec as i mentioned before is huge for us in spokane hiking biking skiing backpacking all those different things um, tons of weekend trips and day trips to go explore nature around us we do have 21 varsity athletic teams at Whitworth. We are division three and we play against some of my colleagues here um, today in the Northwest Conference and not to rub it in, but we have won our conference um, all sports trophy 12 years in a row. We're going for number 13. It's a very fun place to be an athlete or to be a fan and a spectator of our teams. 
We also have some really big art, music, and theater programs. These are in three of our newest buildings on campus. We offer scholarships in all three of these areas, even if you are not majoring or minoring in any of them. Okay, let's talk about the application. Obviously, it's been four minutes and I've convinced you um, to apply to Whitworth. You're so excited. Our application is free. We have one on our website or on the Common App, and I'm the one reading your application. So hopefully that gives you a little peace of mind when you press submit, you're just sending it over to me. We are test optional. Um, we've been that way for 13 years, so you're welcome to send test scores, but it's not required. Uh, recommendations are also optional. I would encourage them if you're not gonna send a test score, but don't let that weigh down your application or make it um, so you're nervous to submit without one. We have rolling admission, so I'm always reading your applications and you'll likely get your admissions decision within about three weeks. Some deadlines, which really are more like benchmarks at Whitworth with the exception of March 1st. Um, my strong encouragement to you is to try to submit your application before the end of the calendar year, but March 1st is our final deadline. Some quick facts for you about financial aid. I would uh, be remiss if I didn't touch on this. 100% of our incoming first year students are receiving financial aid for an average of almost $35,000 in scholarships. And we are number three ranked for best regional university values in the West. When you talk about a school, when you talk about an education, it's so important to realize you are wanting to invest in something valuable. And that is definitely what a Whitworth education is. I encourage you to visit and apply for our travel grants and qualify for our visit scholarship. You can see all those dates on our website. And this is the best contact email for me or a phone number. Email is probably easiest. Um, and I'd love to answer your questions as we continue. All right, thank you. And up next, we'll hear from Linfield University. Sorry, uh, muted, thank you. Um, so my name is Patrick, I work here in the Office of Admission. Um, so we sit on 189 acres here in McMinnville, located just one hour southwest of Portland. Uh, we're in the heart of Willamette Valley wine country and McMinnville does have about 33,000 residents. Um, so nice size campus, only 1400 students here, 19 states represented. Alaska is our fifth or sixth state on any given year. 85% uh, of our classes have 22 or fewer students. And so this is gonna be a small experience throughout, much like many of the schools presenting here today. 34% um, of our students are, uh, identify as non-white. We're technically the most liberal arts or most diverse liberal arts institution in the Pacific Northwest. And 30% of our students are first generation. And we have some great scholarships and support for those students. Uh, we um, have just over 50 majors at Linfield um, and we are structured in a College of Arts and Sciences, School of Business, and a School of Nursing. Um, our College of Arts and Sciences has about 40 plus majors. Some of our most popular are listed here. Uh, and then for our School of Business, seven majors, including two of our newest programs, Interdisciplinary in Nature, Sport Management, and Wine Studies. All of our students, of course, start undeclared and you've got great support mechanisms throughout that first year to, to help you figure out which major is the right one for you. Uh, we also have a secondary campus in Portland. That's home to our School of Nursing. We'll actually be moving campuses this spring um, and uh, we'll have a new 20 acre campus. Linfield's nursing program is non-competitive for admission. Students will apply to the university coming out of high school and then as long as you maintain good standing and meet the required grades and GPA, you'll automatically continue into the School of Nursing. We have one of the largest programs in the Pacific Northwest and one of the oldest programs as well. So definitely a great option if you're considering nursing. Um, Linfield is a liberal arts and sciences institution. And so at our core, you're gonna take a lot of different classes over the course of, uh, of your four years. Um, these are our different areas. We're gonna ask you to take one class in each of these areas. Um, and it's about uh, learning 
types of knowledge and, and areas of study rather than specific data points and, and knowledge points. Uh, student to faculty collaborative research and hands on learning overall is a big component of the Linkfield experience. Um, we had students conducting research this summer, even with COVID. A uh, chemistry professor here working alongside a student. Um, but student faculty collaborative research isn't just in the sciences. Um, we have it in the arts and humanities and the social sciences as well. And these are projects that students are co authoring, they are working um, together on those projects. Uh, we also uh, offer students the first uh, round trip airfare for free for our study abroad program. We have about 40% um, of our students will study abroad before they graduate. Mara here went to China. Mara is actually from Alaska. Um, she grew up in uh, Juneau, um, but studying um, students in about 33 sites and 15 countries, um, both uh, English speaking, non-English speaking. Certainly if you're uh, learning a language, you'll go abroad for that. Um, but even some of our um, uh, programs in non-English speaking countries are, are English speaking options. Uh, in terms of campus experience, most of our students are living on campus, so much of what they do outside of campus and outside of class um, is right on campus and um, planned by the students. So our associated students of Winfield University and Wildcat Events Board are, are heavily involved in a lot of those um, clubs and organizations, performing arts groups, um, fraternity and sorority life, intramural sports, uh, active outdoor rec. Uh, we've had students here at, at orientation this year doing some, some tie-dye experiences. Three-year residency requirement, but even about half of our seniors live on campus. 15 residence halls, um, co-ed, single gender, gender inclusive. You want to bring your pet down, you can uh, do that as well. Um, and then also on-campus apartments for uh, junior and senior year. Um, athletics, um, very competitive NCAA Division III athletic programs, 11 women's teams, 10 on the men's side, um, and um, a great option to, to continue your athletic endeavors. Uh, Linfield's also on the common application um, and the big thing here we're no longer using test scores as part of the admission process so if you haven't had a chance to take your SAT or your ACT don't think it represents you no big deal for us we're not going to consider them we're not going to review them it's also free to apply to Linfield uh, early actions coming around the corner on November 1st our scholarship and visit weekend program will be virtual this year so uh, no need to worry about travel uh, you can participate from home and win up to five thousand dollars per year a minimum for thousand dollars for participating uh, and then you've got all the way until february 1st as well uh, finally financial aid uh, average financial aid package over forty thousand for a direct cost of 58 and almost all of our students are receiving financial aid scholarships are based on your gpa uh, and then we're open for tours. So if you happen to be down in the area, we welcome you to stop by. Just uh, give us a heads up before you come. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the event today. Great, thank you. And next we'll hear from Pacific Lutheran University. Awesome, thanks so much. So my name is Hillary Powell and I work at Pacific Lutheran University. Um, our main focus is really around inquiry, service, leadership, and care. And that's really what drives us as a university. So a majority of our students are taking part in some sort of community service throughout their time at PLU. We are located in Tacoma, Washington. So about 45 minutes south of the SeaTac Airport. So super easy for you to get to us. Um, and really, uh, Tacoma is the third largest city within Washington State, extremely diverse, a lot of really great different opportunities to see different cultures just within our city limits. But we also send students literally all over the world. So global education is something that PLU is really good at. About 50% of our students study abroad at some point during their time at PLU. You can see all of uh, kind of the different options for students, um, whether it's a PLU design program, a partner design program, and there are scholarships that you can apply for that you can use throughout your full time at the university. We also were the first American university to have students on all seven continents simultaneously. So sending a group to Antarctica every other year. 
But some quick facts about who we are on campus, around 3,100 students, 38% of our students identify as students of color, about 33% are first generation students. And then we will use your weighted GPA in our admission process. Um, the average unweighted is around a 3.55, 3.6, just if you are not weighting your GPA. And then I know paying for college is a huge uh, fear a lot of the times. These are just some of the scholarships that we offer. So by just applying, you're going to be considered for this academic merit scholarship at top level. But if you know a PLU grad, please reach out to them and have them fill out an alumni referral form for you. That's $1,000 every year added on top of whatever we're offering you for financial aid. Uh, so it's super easy for them, really easy for you. But we also then do have uh, other ones that you can apply for, whether that's our presidential scholarship or our fine arts scholarship. So about a third of our students participate in the arts at PLU, and there are scholarships available even just for participation, not having to major. But around 97% of our students receive something in financial aid, with the average financial aid award being just around 37,000. This is a list of all of our divisions and our professional schools. So we are a mix, much like uh, some of the schools before me. Our most popular majors are going to be nursing, biology, psychology, music, and kinesiology, along with uh, computer science really growing. Uh, and then for our students who are thinking about going to medical school, about 80% of the students that apply to medical school out of PLU are accepted each year. So really setting you up for success even after the university. About 64% of our students participate in field work or an internship while they're at PLU. We are also a part of the NCAA Division III Northwest Conference. Uh, so we play Linfield and Whitworth. Uh, we have 19 different varsity sports. One of our most unique ones is our women's rowing team um, who has gone to the NCAA Division III championships the last couple of years. So really fun, a lot of opportunities, but also let's say maybe you're not sure what you wanna be involved with. There is a lot to do and a lot of fun things happening. Um, so being able to take part in a club, whether that's academic, cultural um, support. So Active Minds is one of our uh, largest clubs on campus. It also has a really strong tie with our um, student athlete organization. Political clubs, we are only about 35 minutes from uh, Olympia, which is the capital of Washington. And then some of the just for fun clubs uh, to be able to kind of get involved as well. We are free to apply to. We are on the Common App um, exclusively for first year students. And we work on a rolling admission basis. Um, so if you get your application in by one of the dates on the screen, we will get you an admission decision um, by the 15th of the next month. And then also um, we are test optional as well. You can always ask me any questions, always happy to help um, and please reach out. All right, thank you so much. So next we'll hear from Grand Canyon University. Perfect. All right, so my name is Shade. I'm from Grand Canyon University, and I cover all students from Alaska. So a little bit of interesting facts about GCUs. We have currently 23,000 students on our ground campus. We are a private Christian university, and we are located in the heart of Phoenix, Arizona. And our university was founded in 1949, and we have both um, an on-ground presence as well as online campuses as well. A little bit more um, facts about GCU. We do offer a free application, such as all the other colleges that I've presented so far. Um, we are not available on the Common App. Um, you can do our application and there's no essay included as well. We are a very affordable university um, when it comes to tuition rates and scholarships that we have available. 
We are ranked number seven best college campus by niche. We've invested over uh, billions of dollars in our campus and we're super excited to just share that with all of our students. And then another fun fact with GCU is 75% of our graduates have completed their program within three and a half years. And just some more, um, a traditional student body snapshot. Over 90% of our students do maintain some level of academic scholarship. So our average class size is around 27 students. Um, more than 75% of our students do study sciences and businesses. So nursing, pre-med, um, all of those are very popular majors. And then about half of our students are from out of state. So a lot of students think that um, majority of our students come from Arizona, but again, we're pretty split even. And then um, our average cost of tuition after scholarships is around 8,600. And community. So here at GCU, um, we are very focused on community. Um, so I like to say you get the best of both worlds with GCU. Um, we are kind of a bigger university. So now we're considered the largest private Christian university. So we have about 23,000 students. And then on the flip side of that, like I said, we have a small class sizes as well. Um, so we do, um, like I said, focus on community and are very excited about that. And then another thing we're known for is our on-campus housing. Um, so all of our residence halls are suite style living. Uh, so when you walk into the suites, you're walking into a living room. There's no community bathrooms or anything like that. Um, so this is another thing that we're known for as well with our campus housing options. And then another thing too is our dining on campus. So we have a lot of different options as far as um, our dining on campus. So just to name a few, we have Chick-fil-A, Pan Express, all kinds of uh, neat options as well. And then athletics. So we do have three levels of competition here at GCU. Uh, we do have division one sports athletics. So we are part of the WAC conference. And then um, our second level of competition is club sports. And then we also offer intramural sports as well. And then next is academics. So we do have um, different colleges. So we do have the College of Medicine at GCU. Um, we have the College of Engineering, College of Business, the College of Education, Fine Arts, and then our Honors College. So our Honors College is pretty unique. If a student has over a 3.9 weighted GPA, then they don't have to fill out any secondary application. And so just a part of some benefits, a part of the Honors College is project-based opportunities, some internship opportunities. You do have special housing for the Honors Program, professional development when it comes to resumes and getting you prepared for a job, um, faculty mentorship, scholarship opportunities, as well as research opportunities as well. And so the average cost of attendance here at GCU is around 27,000. So tuition is 16,500. Uh, so we do not have out-of-state tuition. So it's the same for both in-state and out-of-state students. Um, so the 27,000 does include room and board, your meal plan, tuition, books, all taxes, all fees and parking. And then the cool thing about GCU, along with not having out-of-state tuition, is if you are accepted, then you do qualify for some level of academic scholarship. Um, so here on the chart, you can see if you say, for example, you have a 3.5 GPA, uh, but maybe a 31 on the ACT, then we'll give you whatever amount gets you the most scholarship. And then our scholarships are renewable. So you will get them every single year um, here at GCU. And then lastly, how to apply. So you have to have either a 3.0 unweighted GPA or a 19 on the ACT or a thousand on the SAT. So not all three of those, just either one of those to be accepted. And then as mentioned, um, our application is apply.gcu.edu. It is a free application and no essay included. And then lastly, some visit options for campus. Typically we do Discover GC where we fly students out to our campus for free. Um, but this year we are doing a travel reimbursement option. So we will reimburse a student and one parent um, to come visit our campus up to $450. And then lastly, this is all my contact information. So uh, your application will come directly to me as I work with all students from Alaska. Um, so this is again, my email and my phone number and I'd be happy to see your application. Great, thank you so much. And then next up, we'll hear from Northwest Nazarene University.
Can you guys hear me? I'm so sorry. I was trying to figure out where my unmute button was, but I guess I am unmuted. Let me know if I'm not. Um, my name is Maggie Alcaraz. I am an admissions counselor from Northwest Asbury University. I'm here to present to you guys uh, our small private Christian university in Nampa, Idaho. Uh, for those of you in Alaska that have never been to Idaho, we are right here in the Boise Valley. Uh, right in between Oregon, Washington, Montana, and Wyoming. Um, so a lot of people will could either confuse this Iowa or Ohio. We are actually in the Northwest uh, where we are surrounded by beautiful mountains, hiking trails, um, but we also have a little bit of city life, which makes it kind of best of both worlds for all of our students that are looking for a not so busy, uh, crazy environment to go to school in. And so some of the things that we have at North Asbury University, uh, we have over 80 plus programs uh, for four years. Most of our students graduate in four years and we have a 15 to one student to faculty ratio. So roughly our whole student undergrad population is about 1200 students, that's 1200. So it's a really small campus, uh, which makes it really easy for students to have one-on-one -on -one connection with professors, uh, be able to have those relationships of mentors and really be able to take advantage of what you are needing with your academics. So some of the big academics that we have on our campus include things like engineering. Our students right now are actually partnering with NASA to send Idaho's third satellite up into space. Um, our nursing students are being hired their junior year. Our education students have 100% placement rate of employment as soon as they graduate. So really, because we're so small, we have such a huge emphasis on making sure that you get um, as much experience in your field before you graduate as possible or research experience. So you're gonna get a lot of robust um, academic and hands-on experience in your field um, when graduating with NNU. Residential community, I mentioned we're pretty small and because we're so small, we are very, very big. Um, being close to each other, helping each other out. We actually have 76% of all of our students, that's freshman and senior year, that stay on our campus uh, in the dorms and apartments. And we have 91% of our freshmen that actually live in the dorms. So the majority of them are able to live next to each other and just do life with each other. So you'll see a couple of our snapshots of some of the events that we love to do. And we're trying to do, we're all in person this year, even in the midst of COVID, trying to uh, put in place healthy COVID uh, precautions cautions, making sure that everyone's safeties are all from a, a year's past, um, but we try to recreate all these events to ensure that not only our students are safe, uh, but also that they're still able to have some of that community aspect with being here on campus with all different types of uh, sporting events, uh, club events, and just all white campus events that everyone is able to participate in. Um, and with that community here, are some of the dorm rooms that you'll have, at least for your freshman year, we have really just two dorms for freshmen. Um, we have our girls dorm and our uh, guys dorm. So you'll kind of see the two difference here. Girls dorm have a sink in their actual room. Um, and really you're able to have that college dorm experience um, while being right across the street from um, the other gender. So it's just a really nice setup of being able to have uh, that really tight knit community with you. And spiritual life, I mentioned that we are a Christian university. Uh, you don't have to attend NNU, uh, but we are very big believers in making sure that we prepare you and try to uh, help you out with your faith. Uh, so we will prepare you with all different types of knowledge of all different kinds of backgrounds that we have here at NNU. We're very diverse in all different types of belief systems and we're very accepting. So we love bringing that into light um, when you come here to NNU and just make sure that you're well educated and a lot stronger in what you wanna become. Um, so that's a really big uh, part of NNU's values is transformation um, and life and community uh, in our campus. We are, I think one of the only ones, and I might have missed it, um, we are NCAA Division II, uh, so not three just because of how small we are, but that does mean that we do offer athletic scholarships and academic scholarships. Um, we Our girls basketball team or volleyball team, I think, won the GNAC championship a couple years back. Uh, so we're super excited for, and very, very uh, supportive of all of our um, athletes. And we actually have just introduced club sports. We have club lacrosse and club soccer for both men's and women's as well that are also receiving a small scholarship. Um, so definitely let us know if you're interested in wanting to talk to coaches and looking into that. 
and also music. Um, so if you are involved in any kind of musical ensemble, uh, whether that is um, trying to do uh, instruments or singing or just being part of a band, you're able to do that as well on our campus. Uh, so that is one of the options that you have as well um, to potentially get a scholarship with us. So just let us know if uh, you don't want to major in music, but you want to participate. And uh, it's a great way uh, to be involved in our NMU community. And then the admissions portion for you to be a part of this campus or to get more information. Um, we do have our first early action delay coming up um, in exactly one month from now, it's scared me that it's tomorrow. Um, so exactly one month from now, uh, you can, we do have early admissions, so you can apply anytime before or after that, but you just get a special surprise before um, November 15th. We are also test optional, so we only need your high school transcript to be able to review your application for acceptance. Um, and we're, uh, you're not in Idaho, so we're able to uh, see all those different uh, things pop up with all the, uh, the different applications. We also have an academic- Maggie, I'm, I'm sorry, we are at time um, and we do need to move on to our next participant. Um, see, uh, Maggie, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we, we do have only six minutes for every participant. So, so we do have to move on. Where you would fall in with your GPA. And I'm gonna invite our Corbin University representative to go ahead and start their presentation. All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kelsey Banks. Before I share my screen, I want, excuse me, wanted to um, introduce myself to you and thank you so much for being here um, and connecting with us. I wanted to say two things and then I'll um, start my slideshow. The first is that I absolutely love Alaska. I've been working with Alaska students who apply to Corbin for about five or six years now. And I am so sad I am not there in person, um, but obviously we wanna keep you as safe and healthy as possible. So I'm glad we can um, do this virtually at the least, right? Um, and then second, I wanted to let you know a little bit about my history with Corbin and how I, choose, I chose to attend Corbin University. We are located in Salem, Oregon, and I grew up in Salem. I was born here. Um, I always thought I would uh, move away for college. Um, I kind of, you know, wanted to fly the nest as it were. Um, but my senior year of high school, I took a couple classes at Corbin for some college credit. And within, by the end of the first semester, I was absolutely confirmed in my heart and in my mind that Corbin was the school for me. Um, I didn't even end up applying to any other schools. When I got to see um, the different academic programs, how the professors interacted with each other and with students and the mission of Corbin, I was absolutely sold. Um, it is um, so near and dear to my heart and I'm so proud of this university and getting to share it with you guys. Um, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start my presentation here. So Corbin University is a uh, private Christian university. Our mission is to educate Christians who will make a difference in the world for Jesus Christ. This really is the lifeblood of our campus. Some of you might be reading this or hearing this and being like, nope, not for me. And that is absolutely okay. Um, this really is a university for students who want to be discipled and grow in their faith. Because of that, all of our students faculty and staff are professing believers, and we take this mission very seriously. It flows through all of our academics, our sports, our student life, our dorms, any part of campus, you're gonna see this mission thrive. In fact, it is um, something that students would, would know. You don't even have to like um, quiz them on it. Our, our um, student body are well aware of this mission and, and really support it. All right, a little bit about us. We have about 11, 1200 students on campus. This is pretty, pretty typical per usual, 12 to one student faculty ratio, uh, like many of the other universities today. That's pretty typical for a private liberal arts school. Now we wanna make sure that you get to know your professors so that you can get good internships and good jobs after you graduate, which is really the goal, right? We have, um, yeah, several study abroad programs. Our two most popular, Northern Ireland and Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a Spanish immersion program, so you, you must be Spanish proficient and you do live with a host family, but a lot of our students love that uh, study abroad program. As far as our majors and programs go, I'm gonna settle on our top five. You'll see those listed at the bottom of this slide. Education, we are uh, the top, we have the top education program in the state of Oregon. That is above uh, all state and private universities. And that's gonna be because of our devotion to understanding that a student is not just a curriculum, but needs to be enriched in a, on a whole level, right? When you guys are sitting in class, you know that your, your teachers 
they are such an incredible support system to you. For many of you, it might be one of your only support systems. So we like to, um, our professors like to teach our students that. Many of the um, uh, um, districts, the school districts in, in Oregon will actually give Corbin graduates an automatic interview because of our such a strong education program. Um, the next biggest is going to be medical science, biomedical sciences. This goes from surgery, pediatrics, veterinary science, optometry, um, dentistry, anything that takes you to med school after you graduate, we can offer something for you here in clinic, including an associate's degree in nursing. Um, business, of course, that's going to include accounting, management, marketing, leadership, agribusiness. Pre-counseling psychology, that's if you want to be a counselor. We really need that today, right? We need people who know how to support each other, walk us through crisis, mental health issues that we have. People who, uh, I mean, I have such respect for counselors, right? I, if you are interested in going into that, mad props. Um, and then last, ministry. So that's going to be things that focus on what you might see in a church organization or a parachurch organization, like being a pastor or worship arts or um, work in a church administrative role. All right, so life on campus. We have five dorms. Oh, and actually I wanna take this slide to talk about COVID. Um, because of our size and uh, we are actually able to meet all state regulations and have class in person, that is incredible. All of our dorms are full of students right now and all of our classes are full of students. We meet every single state regulation that we have to and we have kept every student healthy and safe. We have masks are required to wear and social distancing is required. So we actually had to cut our class sizes in half in order to meet the needs so that uh, students could be in the room. But that is, I mean, is such a huge blessing today when we have Zoom fatigue and we're, you know, we have to meet virtually. Being able for our campus to be together in person has been absolutely crucial and, and so wonderful. We're even doing on-campus visits. If you guys um, are able to come out, we would love to have you on campus. We can keep you safe and healthy and you can learn, um, learn about us and see what it's like on campus. Um, our dorms are great. I lived in one of them for three years as a student. The dorm I lived in had a bathroom and a walk-in closet in every room, which was amazing. Uh, you'll see we have 17 NAIA sports on campus. These are scholarship to collegiate sports, although we also offer intramurals. I did dodgeball and volleyball intramurals. I was terrible at both of them, but I had a lot of fun. Um, for a full list of our sports, you can always go on our website. Dozens of clubs available to students all that are started and led by, by students and what their hobbies and interests are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip our financial aid slide and lead you to the next steps. If you're interested in Corbin at all, you can actually text interested to 503-375-7008. And hopefully I can connect with you guys and maybe even see you on campus sometime. Thanks for your time. Fantastic, everyone. Thank you so much. So now we have about six minutes for any questions that come through the Q&A. And uh, while we have some of our reps answer those questions via write, written answers, I'm going to invite everybody to turn on their videos. And um, I wanna ask all of our participants, all of our uh, panelists to just go in presentation order. Give me a quick you know, 20 second fun fact or special tradition, just something about your school that you think is really fun and unique. So we'll go again in presentation order. So we'll start with Whitworth. Great. Well, I should have mentioned it earlier, Whitworth does have quite a few traditions, but a fan favorite is trying to catch pine cones as they are falling out of the tree on campus. We have a lot of trees. You can see some of them behind me. I have yet to catch a pine cone as it's falling. It is my greatest wish in life to do that. Uh, at Linfield, we have a lot of trees as well. We have 78 different species of trees, so that's a fun fact. We were founded a year before the state of Oregon became a state, so we're one year older than Oregon. Um, and one of our neat traditions is that each year at convocation, our opening of the academic year, all students pick up an acorn to represent the growth they're going to have over the course of their four years. And at graduation, they turn their acorn back in. Um, and then those acorns get picked up at the beginning of the next school year. So uh, students do in fact keep their acorn, they get a box for that to protect it, um, but they do indeed uh, remember to bring it back. So pretty special. 
Um, at PLU, it's some of the different events that we have. And so one of my favorites is Lala PLUza. It's our music uh, festival that happens on campus each year. A bunch of food trucks, local and PLU artists perform throughout the day. Normally it's like a random sunny day in Washington. It's worked out really well the last like five years. Um, but also some of the events in the residence halls. So whether that's Sleeker Fright Night or Tinglestad has a carnival. So each floor of the hall does something different. So it's kind of like a moving experience. Um, so those are just some of the fun annual things that happen each year to help students kind of get connected and involved. And I think it's my go, but it won't let me share my video. Um, but Grand Canyon University, a uh, fun fact about us was we're now considered the largest private Christian university. Um, and then just like others, I love all of the campus activities that we do um, on campus. So we have a Mr. GCU uh, beauty pageant for all the males on campus. Um, we have Movie on the Lawn where our students come and pitch tents and bring their blankets and come um, watch a movie on the lawn. Um, and we all the different things that we offer on campus. We have an indoor club sports facility that has indoor rock climbing and things like that. Uh, we have pools all over campus because it is Arizona, so it's a lot warmer than Alaska. Um, so just all the different activities that we have going on on campus. And then, like I said, getting the best of both worlds of a large university, but then still focusing on community. My number one favorite tradition on all of campus. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Maggie. Go Maggie. <laughs> you are totally okay. I'm not able to share my video either. So that's why it was weird. <laughs> um, so one of the really cool things about NNU, uh, we are also having lots of uh, different activities on our campus. We also, also have movie on the lawn every single year. We have this huge bonfire. We have my favorite event that we have is called Twerp. Uh, which stands for the woman is required to pay. Um, so it's a little uh, kind of spin on uh, what you would consider like a prom or something where a woman asks guy uh, and then they actually get to go on a two day whole campus fight date um, where we go to eat somewhere. We actually take over a movie theater. We dress up in fun costumes um, and just have lots of fun together for two whole days, which is uh, super fun. We also have one of my favorite things that we do is a scarving ceremony at the beginning of the year where we kind of do a tradition uh, where we scarve you uh, with these cool scarves and then kind of symbolizing that in 40s when you graduate, we'll be hooding you with your graduation gowns. So those are some of the fun events that we have at NNU. I can go. <laughs> so sorry. My number one favorite is Pumpkin Smash. It's one of our all guys dorms. They basically have a huge wrestling match and a pile of pumpkin guts and the last man standing is crowned the Pumpkin Smash King. It is like carnage. It's crazy. There's a huge crowd. It is a blast. Yeah. That's great. That's always, I think, one of one of the most fun parts of, of these is hearing all of the different traditions. And so I'm just going to give it another minute or so uh, to let everybody wrap up in the Q&A and then we'll wrap up the whole presentation. All right, so unfortunately we are at time. Um, I know that there is a question or two still in the Q&A box, but uh, never fear. All of the panelists will get your contact information and they'll be able to follow up with you for any unanswered questions. So I wanna take this moment to say thank you to all the presenters and all of the students who joined us for today.
When you close this window, there will be a quick link to a quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. And also, this is just one of many different sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for those additional sessions. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at the same website where you registered. So again, thank you to everyone who presented and participated today and have a great evening.